creating a more enriching lifestyle. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 78. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution-creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for-profit and non-profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. We are creating all these things to be implementable as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration villages and hubs. Welcome to the One Community Weekly Progress Update. My name is Jay Sable and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 Nonprofit Organization. This is our weekly progress update number 78, August 29th, 2014 edition. As always, if you'd like more details, more specifics, uh, links to all the open source content, everything I'm going to be talking about in this update from the last week, uh, covering our team's progress and accomplishments, everything that we've done. If you'd like more details, please visit our written blog. And if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, just send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com, and we will add you to our email list. Let's jump into the updates. One community's approach to highest good education is open source and free shared, designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, a learner, teacher, collaborative, and it includes California state education standards. This week, the core team, which consists of the Satellite and Pioneer members, redesigned the Ultimate Classroom page. You can see that here. We did this by integrating two weeks of interviews with Satyana Lukin, the founder of Imagine Wisdom Education, and then combining her input with the months of additional research that we've done into Montessori, Waldorf, ORF, Regio, Multi-Intelligences, Bloom's Taxonomy, and Study Tech. We also finished the first 10% of the Harmony Lesson Plan webpage, and behind the scenes, we finished 40% of the next All Ages and All Education Levels Lesson Plan, which has the central theme of creativity. If you'd like to help with this education program, we are seeking people to finish these lesson plans. We've got them all outlined, and we're just looking for the creative minds who would like to contribute something amazing to the educational world through our open source and free shared education program for all ages and all educational levels. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team working on Highest Good Food finished adding the diversity details to the wax gourd and winter melon sections of the large-scale gardening page, where we featured the four you see here. We also added Casa Banana to the page and uh, the two that you see featured here, with cultural considerations, purchasing details, and planting guidelines also uh, to be found on the website. In this area of the project, we are seeking a master electrician and a master plumber, if you would like to help out. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team working on highest good housing completed another 25% of the earth bag construction footers, foundation, and flooring tutorial page that you can see here. This brings us to about 40% of the way complete with this page, and you can now start to really see the level of detail we're providing. The world image you see repeating here is where we'll be adding extensive tutorial videos as part of the crowdfunding campaign. We also completed another 20% of the total energy infrastructure rollout details for off-grid community creation for 50 to 400 plus people. What you see here are the new additions uh, from our Google Docs. And Philip Gill helped us redesign part of the Murphy bed end tables, and then our team updated the main image you see here with all of his additions. This design will also be part of the crowdfunding campaign. In this area of the project, we are seeking a master plumber and a master electrician. If you or someone you know would like to help with this component of our open source creation process. 
One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week the core team completed this additional 30 seconds of the Duplicable City Center 3D video showing over two years of design work for this building happening in 3D. Behind the scenes we also completed another 20% of the control systems research for this structure and the complete first village model. This brings us to 80% total completion of the necessary research into all the software and hardware options available for monitoring, management, and automation of everything from energy and water to internet usage. In addition to our work, Carl Harris finished the complete redesign of the Duplicable City Center elevator specifics in CAD. This required expansion of the space needs and an associated redesign of all four floors. He also added a necessary 10 foot by 20 foot boiler room to the structure. For this area of the project, we are seeking a structural engineer and a general contractor. The structural engineer is somebody that we're seeking to help us design the cupola so it can be built without a crane, which is very important for our open source goals and duplication anywhere in the world. And the general contractor is needed for assistance in conjunction and collaboration with P2S Engineering, who is helping us with the mechanical, electrical, and plumbing section of this structure. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week the core team updated our progress page covering all the areas we're seeking help and the specifics of our design process and areas of focus that you can see here. We also updated our who we are and who we are looking for page describing the specific skill sets our project and our team embody and seek to work with. Everything one community is creating really comes down to creating a more enriching lifestyle. And our idea is to open source this idea so that it is affordable enough and easy enough for people to be able to duplicate it. And the more enriching lifestyle aspect is designed to demonstrate it is attractive enough so that the idea will become self-replicating. An idea like this has the potential to positively and permanently transform the world for everyone. This is what our methodology is all about. The whole idea is to open source and free share everything that we're creating, all the pieces, all the components that they can be duplicated individually or as complete teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs. And these hubs will teach other people how to create teacher demonstration villages, cities, and hubs as well. By open sourcing the foundations of housing, energy, food, open source education, as well as highest good uh, economic models, for-profit and non-profit business models, recreation models, and true earth stewardship. By open sourcing and free sharing all of these components, we're putting together everything necessary to not only create a more enriching lifestyle, but to create a truly sustainable civilization. Most people agree that what we're doing right now is not sustainable. And most people would also agree that we have at our fingertips right now everything that's necessary to be sustainable. So one community feels that it is time to put all these components together, to take all of these pieces and create an evolution of sustainability that combines emotional sustainability with physical sustainability. Putting the food, energy, and housing together with the economic models, with the education models, with the recreation models, with the true stewardship, putting these things together to create a more enriching lifestyle that also regenerates our planet that also does good things for all of humanity, that also does good things for all of our planet, all life on this planet, and helps to create an environment that will last for our children, for our children's children, our grandchildren's children, putting it all together in one place. This is what we're up to, this is what we're creating. So if this sounds fun to you, if this sounds exciting to you, if this sounds like a noble adventure, a worthwhile adventure, um, something that you'd like to be involved in and you'd like to help out with, we're looking for the creators, the makers, the innovators, the architects and engineers of the future to join us. We've got an amazing team of experts that we've already brought together. You know, the only thing that's slowing us down is not having more people. Every single week we're reporting on our progress. And so if this is something you'd like to be a part of, the path is clear. We've put in tens of thousands of hours of work. And so now the invitation is wide open for people to join our project, get involved, help us create this even faster. This is what we're doing. This is what we're creating. 
We have an opportunity to create a more enriching lifestyle for every person on this planet. If we can spread teacher demonstration communities, villages, and cities to the places that are needed most, where they're needed most, and to teach the people there how to build these as well. And the reason why we're making it as easy as we are and as affordable as we are is to make it a worthwhile investment so the money that needs to go to these areas that need it most will be put there. So that people will invest in the areas that need it most. So that people want to take this lifestyle into the remote regions of the world, as well as building them in first world countries. Expanding this idea and sharing it. The whole model is designed so that people can come and participate. The whole model is designed, the whole, the whole revenue stream model of one community is designed so that people can come and experience everything that it is that we're doing. And if they like it, they see it really is easy enough, affordable enough, and attractive enough, then they can take everything that we're creating and duplicate it on their own. Help us fund this project and we will create something that the world has never seen. But the time is so ripe. Now is the time to create this. We have the ability to share it through the internet. We have the ability to reach out to a global community, and we already have, and we're bringing these people together from around the world that want to see this happen. And so the next big step for us, of course, is large-scale funding so that we can purchase the property, get that off the market, share the location, and start working on the ground. So we can get boots on the ground, do the surveying that we need to, and take this whole open source process to the next level. So if you're a connector, if you're somebody with the contacts or with the resources yourself or attached to a group that has the resources to help us fund one community and get the property off the market, that's the next big step for us. Getting that property off the market will allow us to build, allow us to build our team at, um, much more efficiently, will allow us to do, build our open source blueprints much more efficiently, and ultimately we'll take our whole open source creative process, which you see us sharing every single week, and multiply it 10 times, 100 times, and eventually 1,000 times. Creating this idea of sharing a, a more enriching lifestyle with sharing a sustainable lifestyle, a self-sufficient lifestyle, and most importantly, an open source do-it-yourself duplicable lifestyle that meets all the previous criteria, taking all that to the whole next level and making it even easier. So with that in mind, we're on all the social media networks, all the different social media platforms to make it as easy as possible for people to share what it is that we're doing. We're on Pinterest, we're on Tumblr, we're on Reddit, we are on Twitter, we are on LinkedIn, we are on Facebook. We are on all of the different social media networks because we want to make it as easy as possible for people to take what it is and get it in the hands of the people that need it and want it most, people that are interested in us. And the more that our ideas spread, the more we get this information out there, the more likely it is that that one person or that small group that would like to invest in one community or like to donate to our 501c3 nonprofit organization will actually do so. We believe that there are literally thousands of people on this planet with the resources and the desire to donate to a project like ours, to make something like what it is that we're creating a reality. They would donate to our project just like most people drop $50 donating to the Organic Consumers Association or to their favorite political party or whatever it is. They just need to know that we exist. And so this is why we're on all the different social media networks. We stay on top of that. We're constantly sharing what it is that we're doing because we want to get our open source and free shared solutions out there. Everything that we're creating, we're creating with the consciousness for the highest good of all. And so the idea there is to think globally, to design for global application, and to realize that if we're constantly creating for the highest good of all, then if it's implemented either individually or as a complete teacher demonstration community village or city, and however people take everything that it is that we're doing, however they implement it, it's still a step in the right direction. So with that, I will say thank you for, for following our progress. Thank you for sharing our information. Thank you, as always, for helping us as we continue to create a more enriching lifestyle for others, as we continue to put in the time and energy that we are. Our team is all volunteers, and so the emails that we get mean a ton to us. Um, none of us are paid for what it is that we're doing. Thank you for all the small donations that we get. The little donations make a big difference, too, because they help us cover our website expenses and all the other operating costs for one community. And uh, just, as always, thank you for watching our updates. Until next week, we will keep on keeping on. Thanks a lot.